Hi, my name is Ted Branson. I'm the artistic director of the Dutch National Ballet, Het Nationale Ballet, in Amsterdam. You try to be there for everybody, but you can't. I mean, we have 80 dancers and I can't possibly give everyone equal attention. I can't even possibly give everybody perhaps the attention that they need or want. That's two different things. Sometimes a lot of people want a lot of attention, but they don't really need as much babying as they think they do. Um, obviously, I know all the names of all the dancers. <laughs> and I try to really keep in touch with everybody individually. Uh, I find it important. I know how important it is for a dancer to have a, uh, to be seen and to be have a, have a, a relationship with your with your director and with the artistic staff in general. So, yeah, I try to I try to give everybody some attention, but in the end, it's uh, up to dancers themselves also to create their own world and create their own career. In Europe it's a lot, I mean there's some companies where there's a lot of guest artists and there's some companies, you know, like the Scala in Milan, they rely on, because they don't have such great, you know, principles, so they, they rely on importing guest artists. But like a company like ABT, you mean, you can say a lot of the principles there are actually almost like guest artists, because they're not, they usually don't do the whole season. Um, so they come in and out, and for the, for the company members that can be a bit like, okay, they come in and take over everything and do all the big roles and we're here all year round and we don't get to do anything. So that's, that is a danger. So we, we don't actually have that many guest artists. At the moment we have a couple of guest artists who are in town, just also to see mutually if there would be a possible future for these uh, artists in our company. Um, and that's, that's a process that you go through when you're really looking for specific talent for principal dancers that are ready to take on the roles now. Because you develop your talent also in-house, of course, but sometimes you get into a situation where you think, God, we need one extra man or one extra woman. And you try to get them from outside. There's a lot of people who want to come and guest here. And I am quite... Um, careful with that. You know, we, we really take people on as guest artists when we really need them or when I see a possible future together, a possible future development. Like we had Shoko Nakamura here who did, did a dance the role of Mirta. She's a fantastic dancer and I've you know, admired her from, for, for, for a long time and we want to set up a more ongoing relationship and she fulfills a role that not many people in our company could do so that, that works out really well. And we've had Marcelo Gomez here as a partner for one of our artists, one of our principal dancers. So those those things work out that well that way. Well, first it's uh, uh, it's not only the diversity of the rep and its dancer and the dancers, but it's also a rep that is quite unique in that we have um, not just a mix of classics and neoclassical and contemporary works that a lot of dan uh, dance companies have, uh, ballet companies have. But we have a resident choreographer who's one of the top choreographers in the world, Hans Vermane, who is you know, at 77 still creating new work. He's creating a new work as, as we speak. We have another resident choreographer, Christoph Pastor, whose work is being done in companies all across the world. And I think that's really important to have people who work on new creations with the dancers. We have other you know, leading choreographers uh, of this generation coming to create new works in our company. I think that's what's very important for our dancers. And that's what makes us also uh, 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 yeah, unique and, and different in a way. We're not a company that only does the big classics, that only does you know, one specific thing. We have a, a great variety of styles. And I think we've been talking about it. If, is there a specific style to, to the company, a specific dance style to the company? I think it's in general quite um, unfussy and it's you know big movements. It's it's clean and it's not it's not it's not too. You know, there's a Russian school that can be very beautifully lyrical, and it can be a French, there's a French school that can be uh, sometimes a bit precious. And ours is our style is a little bit in between all of those things. It's very clean. It's very pure. It's very no nonsense in a way like the Dutch can be. The best way to keep company morale up is do good shows, have great rep, have good people coming in, 
and go on tour once every so often because that's the, that's the best way. If people do good work and know that it's, uh, it's exciting and know that, that it's worthwhile, that's when they're most happy and when they're, when they're most excited. If you have to you know, find other stuff to sort of make up for that, if you do an uninteresting repertoire, and then you have to do a lot of stuff to keep people happy. Throw parties and you know, make, no, but I think it's important that you take care of your dancers and you offer them good conditions, good work first of all, but good conditions of, con conditions of work, good treatment, an open and um, productive atmosphere where people can feel that they can be vulnerable when they're in the studio because you need to be able to open up and show your heart and not feel like someone's going to jump on it straight away and kill you um, when you do that. So it's all, you need to have a good creative atmosphere. I think that's important. And you need to make sure that you have good physio and good masseurs and all of those things that help a dancer be a dancer and do their job. I see a lot of other dance performances, um, both in Holland and abroad. I regularly travel, which is great, it's a great part of my job, but I regularly travel overseas to see other things. I'm actually going on a trip to New York tomorrow, so I'm excited about that, seeing two companies in two days, so that's good. Um, that's inspiring, to see other companies, be it ballet companies or contemporary companies, see other performances, see other artists. Um, I do see opera and, and drama as well, but not as much. I mean, my passion is for dance, so that's really what I focus on. And I see most of our shows, and then with the one, the other shows, the companies that come through Amsterdam or that are in the neighborhood, and the companies that I go out to see, that sort of pretty much makes for a full year of being in the theater. Really, there have been so many. I mean, I had a great proud moment last Saturday when um, Victoria Ananyan, who is a coryphée, did her first Giselle with us. I mean, I was so proud to see that. I was so proud when we had the premiere of Giselle and I see the company looking fantastic and all really at the top of their form and giving everything, not just holding, you know, not just doing it, going through the motion, but really completely heart and soul there. Then I'm extremely proud. You know, the DVDs that we've made, uh, the Hans von Manor Festival when we had the Queen here and eight companies from all across the world. That was, you know, pretty special things. But the great thing about this job is that there's a lot of times every month that I can be really proud. That's that's the mo that's the greatest reward of this this job. That you can have, feel that pride so many times. It depends on how many people go. Yeah. yeah so this year, I think. Uh, let me just see. I think we have about ten or eleven people leaving, and about nine or ten people because we're slightly over my allotted numbers. Uh, so I'm, I'm, we're hiring about nine new people. Depends on what we need. In general, yes, we tend to bring in from the bottom so that people can grow up through the company. <clears throat> but sometimes you need to, if you have a bunch of principals or soloists leaving, you need some real strength at the top, so you need more mature dancers who know, who have more experience, so that you can put them in those roles straight away. So it really depends.